Hello, I'm Sue Hawks, CEO of Yes and a certified EOS implementer. And I am here with Anita Jansen. My husband and I own a company called Jansen Performance Horses. And as the name indicates, it's, it's a horse training facility. We actually train, breed, and raise uh, competition cutting horses. And, and cutting horses are a breed of horse that is, is, uh, works cattle and they, they compete in situations where you drive a cow out and you put your hand down and like a border collie or a hunting dog, the horse's instinct takes over after a couple of years of high-end training and keeps that cow from returning to the herd. Um, we're, we're a very busy barn um, that has both training and, and a, and a high-end breeding operation as well. Uh, so tell me, how are you? You know, I'm doing well today and it's day by day. I, I think there are days that are good and there are days that are bad. Uh, it's a very much a roller coaster. Uh, COVID has hit our business quite hard. And so there's a, there's a lot going on and, and it's not just the business side of it, but, but, you know, also making sure that, you know, there's, there's the underlying concern that we keep our staff healthy and, and our families healthy and, and I've aged parents, so making sure that that we do what we need to do to keep them safe. It, it's there's just so many facets that that are concerning in today's yeah, world. Yeah, no kidding. So specifically around the business, how has EOS served you? Can you share any specific examples? I can. It, you know, EOS has served us during this crisis by keeping us focused on our long-term plan. As I mentioned, COVID has hit our business quite hard, but our conversations are, are not just about surviving today, but how to continue investing in our future. And I, I'm really grateful to EOS for providing the framework and, and creating the habits to make that possible. It's really keeping us looking out five years. I owned a business during the 9-11 national crisis long before I knew anything about EOS. And that situation not only threw my business to the brink of bankruptcy, which we avoided, thank God, but it stifled the company's longer term growth because I got so focused on survival and the present that I didn't create for the future. So this time around, we realized that we have an immediate crisis and undoubtedly it's scary, but we're also focused on how much we've invested over the last several years, both financially and time-wise, just in planning on reaching our five-year goal. We don't want that investment to be for nothing. So we have to keep our eyes on the five-year plan while we're dealing with the here and now. That's challenging because there's more than enough to occupy our minds and time in the immediate. However, it's great for the soul to realize that there is a normal after this, life goes on, businesses will go on and our dreams don't have to be sidelined. EOS has provided that hope during this time of struggle and we're very grateful for that. Oh, so powerful. Is there any one tool in particular that has specifically helped you most? There is, I, I and, and it's, this might seem trite because it's such, an, uh, it's such a huge part of EOS, but that level 10 meeting. It's easy to, in times of crisis to say, we don't have time for that right now, but we've made time for that level 10 meeting. And, and now more than ever, keeping those, keeping the communication among your team members is so critical. And so again, you know, that has helped us deal with the here and now in a, in a very strategic fashion, but it's also kept us focused on what we need to do to go long-term. And we make sure that on, during our level 10s, we address both. And that's been a godsend. Oh, such sage words of wisdom. Thank you for making time to talk to everyone and share your exceptional leadership. I appreciate you so much. Thank you.